Biomutant is an upcoming action role-playing video game that is being developed by Experiment 101 and published by THQ Nordic. The game was first announced back in 2017 and was seen as the next big open-world RPG. Over time, the hype for the project slowly died down as more delays and lack of communication circulated around the project. So let's break down the developer itself, Experiment 101, the delays, and when to expect the title. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those original art articles and writers. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Fonked2, for channel updates. And with all of that out of the way, let's get into what happened to Biomutant. Let's start by discussing the developer behind the title, which is Experiment 101. The studio was formed by former employees of Avalanche Studios, who is the developer behind the recent Mad Max game and the Just Cause series. The studio itself was formed in mid-2015, and the team has said the development for Biomutant started around the same time the studio was formed which meant this game has been in the works since 2015, but I assume at least a year of that time was spent on pre-production, so working on the engine they are using, which is Unreal Engine, the writing of the game, and doing concepts for the world and characters. The studio also, as of 2018, only had 20 employees, which is very small considering the type of game they are trying to create. An open world RPG with lots of mechanics and a story is a very daunting task, and it is important context when understanding why this game has been delayed and why the development is taking longer than expected, compared to similar games that are created with much larger teams. But right from the start, the team did everything right. They put a team in place with people who know how to create games similar to Biomutant. In terms of Mad Max and Just Cause, they're all these open world big games, but Biomutant they want to take the more RPG route. They also have a competent studio head in the form of Stefan Lungfist. And by 2017, the studio was acquired by THQ Nordic, which was a great move for multiple reasons. It gave the team a strong publishing partner with many connections and know-how to get their game out there along with extra funding from the acquisition to continue the development on their project. And for the most part, that is the context needed around the developer and publisher for the project and what you need to know about the title moving forward. Next, we can move on and discuss the development of the project itself. As I said, the game was announced in August of 2017 with a trailer, and that's when we learned the game would be called Biomutant and would be coming to the PC, PS4, and Xbox One in 2018, which seemed like a relatively normal development time for a game and studio like this. If the project started development in 2015 and would be released in 2018, that's a three-year development and doesn't seem out of the question. And the development and marketing at the time seemed to be going smoothly. Within the next few weeks of August and September, gameplay was shown off at different gaming conventions and shows, and the gameplay looked good. It didn't look completely polished, but that wasn't what the team was promising at the time. And the gameplay was more so to get people sold on the idea of Biomutant and what the game will look like when it's all finished and finally released. So they were still fixing traits, characters, the world itself, but they were showing these areas off to get people hyped up and to start pre-ordering. What makes the development even more interesting actually happened a few days after the reveal event in August. The game director of Biomutant did an interview with Game Reactor, and one of the last questions he was asked was in regards to where the game was at in the development process. Uh, the game is feature complete, so we have all of the components uh, in the game already, so it's about fleshing out the world. Uh, that's where we are right now, and we have done a lot there as well. Uh, so it's more about how big is the game. How can we deliver upon the promise? And again, like, it's not about making, we always said the same thing at Avalanche, the difficulty is not making a huge world, it's filling it with something interesting for the player to do. He said the game was feature complete, which means that all the components the team wanted to add into the game have been added, and that the team's current task was to flesh out the world, and as we get further into the development and delays, I think the team has been hard at work on creating a truly massive and worthwhile open world, which is why we have seen these delays and pushbacks because I think they're adding more than they initially thought when they were at this point back in 2017. 
From there, we can close out discussing some of the delays on the project. Earlier, I mentioned the game was first announced for having a 2018 release. The Biomutant developers continued to show off the game and give development updates during this time. But it wasn't until August of 2018, one year after the 2017 reveal, that the Biomutant Twitter account announced the game would be now releasing in summer of 2019. And for the most part, this wasn't too big of a delay. Moving out of 2018 to summer of 2019 was at max a six month delay. So mostly fans took this as them needing more time for the project, smoothing things out and not rushing this game. That was until the release window this summer 2019 came and went with very little communication from Experiment 101 or THQ Nordic. But Nordic's parent company Embracer Group gave an update on their July through September 2019 investors report and Embracer reiterated that Biomutant is in the final stages of polishing, and the release date will be announced as soon as they are confident about achieving their ambition with the title. The team was quiet again for the rest of 2019, and the only update we got was from Embracer Group again in their October through December 2019 report. The team stated that they know the release of Biomutant is a never-ending question among fans in the community, but the reality of the situation is the team is small and only around 20 people, as we said before, so the finalization stage of the game takes longer than with a larger team, which is why we're seeing these delays and why no one wants to announce when the game will be finished. And once again, we continued throughout 2020, and the next update we got was in February of 2020, but this time it was from the Biomutant Twitter account themselves, and the team stated, quote, We know many of you are wondering if the game is still in development. Let us assure you that we've never been working harder and more focused on it than now. We are doing everything we can to make this the best game all of us have ever worked on, and that it will be as entertaining and great as we can possibly make it. We can only hope for your continued support and patience as we complete the final stages of its development. As some of you may understand or know, the work involved in finishing a game is long, challenging, and unpredictable. The sheer magnitude, size, and length of Biomutant adds to said effort. We will reveal the release date as soon as everyone at our studio feels confident about hitting that date and that the game is ready for it. Again, thank you for your understanding and for your continued support and enthusiasm for our game. From us at Experiment 101. And while this isn't the most exciting update, they are trying to avoid a problem that has plagued so many recent games that are released too early for their own good and suffer from bad word of mouth due to poor optimization and failures where people can't even play it. So it's smart that Biomutant is taking their time and they're not trying to release just for the sake of releasing regardless of how many years this game has been in development. It also could be possible that the game is shifting development to the next generation of consoles as well. They are working with Unreal Engine, and from what I understand, it's relatively easy to convert to other platforms, so it could be possible that THQ Nordic wants the release to shift to the new current generation of consoles, so the PS5 and Xbox Series X, as well as the new last generation of consoles, so the PS4 and Xbox One. This is all just speculation on my part, but it wouldn't surprise me given that now the new current generation of consoles is out, people have them, and it would make sense to at some point take advantage of the next generation hardware. So when should we expect the title? Well, back in May, Embracer Group said that Biomutant would be released sometime this fiscal year, which is fiscal year 2020, which means that the game will release sometime between April of 2020 to March 2021. That is interesting because at the time of recording it is December, which means the game only has around 3 more months to formally announce its reveal and release, which seems unlikely but not impossible. But I go back and forth because for Embracer Group to announce this to their shareholders with a release date after so many years of not promising any release, I tend to believe that we will see the game come out soon, and I would guess probably most likely within these next 3 months just due to the nature of Embracer announcing this. It will get confusing to see how the release works considering Biomutant has been quiet for so long, but hopefully their time and quiet during 2020 means that they have been putting the finishing touches and they will be ready for a kind of surprise release and reveal in early 2021. 
And for the most part, that explains what happened to Biomutant. We shouldn't have to wait too much longer if the game does release this fiscal year. And then we can see if the extra development time and delays have given the developers the opportunity to create the next fan favorite open world game. That's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.